Hi, I've been requested by the viewer to test the uh, accuracy of uh, CR scan letter and author and compare it. So I find this uh, metal shape here, a hammer. I will uh, verify the accuracy with this uh, two digit um, caliper uh, from inside. Uh, it's not the correct way to uh, uh, verify the accuracy of the measurement. Uh, I need a better than the caliper, but uh, this is all I have 93.75. So I put the hammer here, and I will scan just the uh, this part uh, without a marker. I use the um, the tower here. You need to apply uh, adhesive before use. Okay, I will start with the letter. Okay, I start scan now uh, 0 0.15 resolution. Uh, please note that I use the Creality Scan 3.1.30 because the beta version 3.1.39 uh, it couldn't update the firmware it's stuck at 0% so I switched back to 3.1.30 okay let's start scanning Okay, now I have a complete scan. Stop it. Uh, I move it. The other side here. Then I start scanning. I think I missed uh, one side here. I uh, need more. Right, so I move to uh, water. Marker mode, uh, small size, high quality, turntable. I'm gonna move it closer. I uh, go with the uh, normal orientation this time. And I need to adjust the brightness manually. Oh, I put it right down. It's too burnt out, uh, you can't see the marker. Okay, I think about this brightness. to turn it here 
you need to be uh, careful with the movement when using the turntable. Sometimes when you merge the two point clouds together and you see a seam, seam line merging, sometimes it's because the, the object moves when you scan. Okay, I think that's it. I will proceed with the uh, letter first. And then 0 0.1. Look at the details here. Jesus. Look at that. Zero point one. Maybe I forgot to uh, turn on the record on the screen. Um, I merge the two point clouds from the letter, top and bottom, and then I export to the uh, PRY files so that I can uh, open in Cloud Compare for checking uh, the dimension from the center here of this face to the center here. Uh, cloud Compare is the freeware which is used for uh, manipulation of the point cloud. So if you have a point cloud, you can do a lot of things in here. You can mesh the model here too from the point cloud. What you do is just you just drag the point cloud file that you just uh, export from the mm -hmm. software and click apply. You get your hammer here. This is the hammer. You can uh, put some shade to the uh, point clouds. Okay, so I start to do the measurement. Uh, click on the point cloud. Actually, you can uh, move, rotate, and uh, align the point cloud to the x, y, z axis uh, by using this. Uh, uh, okay, I show you. I align this face to the ground. I just click one, two, and three. Okay, now it's on the ground, right? Okay, I, I start to do the measurement. I uh, using this uh, point picking tools. Click here, and I click uh, at the center here. Okay, and then I move it. To here at this very end, I click at the center here, right? So we have a center dimension 93.68. 93.68. So I measure the center uh, of the hammer again. I get 93.63, and the laptop uh, is uh, 93.68. So it's about 0 0.0.05 mm too long. So about 50 microns, but uh, my measuring tool is not reliable. It's just a vernier caliper. You need a smoother surface, but th this gives you an approximate accuracy that you would get from a, a laptop, which is uh, 50 microns in a range of uh, about 100 millimeters. Uh, after merging, this is not a direct measurement, it's a merging after merging in the software. Okay, so now let's uh, start the processing of the uh, author. Uh, let's me measure the width here. I think it's uh, easier to measure, so uh, I click it uh, this here center, right? Ah, okay, look straight enough. Um, Nineteen point three eight. About uh, uh, zero point zero uh, three. Too narrow. I think if you're gonna use it for, I, I don't know which one is more accurate between the the laptop and my caliper. Okay, now I uh, move back to author, 0 0.1. Uh, here we go, the hammer. Look very nice, I think. Comparable to laptop. Jesus. Author bottom. 0 0.1. Okay, here's the result. I cut this out to make a chopper. Chopper edge. And then I merge it. Uh, auto top, auto bottom, start. What? Let's do it the wrong way. Ah, I do it manually. Doesn't matter. Here, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two here three and three start okay okay that's nice that's weird isn't it you can merge one and you can't do the second in automatic mode but but the uh, manual mode works very well so I can forget about that all right export to uh, white cloud author so we here in the car compare I'm turning this off this is the laptop author here okay here we have the author I align it to the floor one two and three so I will measure the point cloud right it should be straight line okay so we have a uh, 93.52 that's a lot 0 0.1 0 point um one one millimeters um two short okay let's try uh we need to remember that uh, we measure the point clouds from the two scans that merge together so that the there is some error in the use in merging we chose here too so this is the worst case that you would get right so let's try the um the width here the width is not straight yeah that's better 19.52 19.52 see you move it up just a little bit and the result is so different so we get like 52 and 41 0 0.11 millimeters okay so uh laptop is more accurate mm. uh even uh, when measure from the merging point clouds uh you still get like 50 microns so the advertised uh, 20 microns could be possible author uh yeah, we're looking at uh, twice as much earlier from the laptop uh but it's also very accurate uh, for the printer uh, i mean 3d printer 0.1 is the uh, error from the 3d printer so it's good enough for uh, 3d printing i hope you get the uh, information that you need uh thanks for watching have a nice day